Ladies and gentlemen, hello and you are watching TTV News, some lady events in the province. And now coming to details. Ladies and gentlemen, in the morning of June 4, Mr. Nguyen Thanh Tâm, member of the party Central Committee, Secretary of the Ronso Party Committee, Chairman of the Ronso People Council and Delegates of the Ronso People Council, Tenin City, had a meeting with voters in Ward 3 before the meeting of the Ronso and City People Council. Voters in Ward 3 reflect the shortest of medicines when people go to the doctor for medical treatment would have insurance card. People also travel many times during the process of receiving procedures to receive burial fees and one-time allowance for relatives of people who have died. Voters wish that the functional sector should have solutions to encourage and limit to use the bottled drinking water and single-use plastic product, review borrow from policy bank to use referential loan sources effectively and in on with regulation. Remote information and propaganda among people of regime and policies for people with, for people with meritorious services. Speaking at the conference, Ms. Nguyen Thi Hoang An, a delegate of CT People's Council, virtual woman of CT People's Committee requested in the coming time the CT function branches and local authorities will quickly solve cases under the authorities of the people. Also in the morning of June 4, Ms. Nguyen Dai Thi, standing vice chairman of the Bronzo People Council and delegates of the Bronzo People Council and Hoa Thanh Thao, had a meeting with voters of Trung Nam at a meeting, voters of the Nukamun commented on a number of easier cities, soon considering the reinsurance of land use rights certificate to people in the broad area. It is necessary to strictly manage some redundant headquarters in the commune after the merge of the solution. has deteriorated, repair some kernels in the area to answer water for irrigation, for agricultural reduction. Delegates of the People Council at two levels and local authorities receive an explained question from voters and recognize opinion to reflect to relevant departments and branches for early consideration and resolution. On June 4, meet Nguyen Thanh Ngoc, Deputy Secretary of Provincial Party Committee, Chairman of Provincial People Committee, Mr. Trang Văn Chiến, Vice Chairman of Provincial People Committee, and Provincial Department Agencies and Ranges had a meeting with delegations of Vin University, led by Dr. Nguyen Ngoc Hinh, Chairman of the Council Vin University, as the delegation to survey and propose to establish the branch of Vin University in Đà Nẵng Province, to establish the branch of Vin University in Đà Nẵng Province. At a meeting, the representatives of leaders of Vin University presented a proposal to install the Vin University branch in Tainan Province on the basis of Tainan Pedagogical College with the functions of training human resources at university and graduate level, scientific research, technology trained for international cooperation, participate in research resulting and synthesizing policy for sustainable social economic development for Tainan Province, regional and international. Also at the meeting, Mr. Nguyen Thanh Ngoc, Deputy Secretary of the Provincial Party Committee, Chairman of the Provincial People's Committee, shared the, need, shared the need and orientations of human resources development in the province. The installments of a university range in Tainan on the basis of merging Tainan Pedagogical College in order to innovate education and vocational training in accordance with the needs of resources in the province, ensuring the development planning orientation of the province. In the afternoon of June 4, the People Committee of the Nen Province summarized the collective economy in 2023 and summarized the three-year implementation of the emulation movement, improving the efficiency of collective economic activities in the Nen Province in the period 2021-2025. Attending the conference, there were Mr. Huynh Lam Phuong, head of the Southern Representative Agency, Vietnam Union of Karate. Mr. Trang Văn Chiến, Vice Chairman of the People Committee of the Nen Province, head of the Steering Committee for Innovation and Collective Economic Development of the Nen Province. After three years of implementation, the Nen has implemented many cooperative support and incentive policy. There are nine projects of cooperative and cooperative roofs that are allowed to borrow 6.5 billion Vietnam dong from the Central and Bronzo Cooperative Development Support Fund to develop production and business, supporting the production and consumption of agricultural products, policy to foster and train cooperative staff and establish new cooperatives. 
the province collected economic sector HS positively. Up to now, then in his 127 quality rooms, with 2,150 members participating, 185 quality and in risk for 44 quality compared to 2021. Cooperate have from link between cooperate and between cooperate and enterprise. There are 80 cooperate participating in the associated value chains, in which there are 17 cooperate operating in high tech application. Evaluation cooperate in innovation and business methods actually apply science and technology. The union of cooperate is up in the province loan the emulation movement, improving the efficiency of the collective economy in the province in 2024. Based on the proposals of Provincial People's Committee and actual situations of locality, the standing committees of Provincial People's Council has prepared for the content and program of the 14th section the regular meeting in mid-2024 of the twin Provincial People's Council. This will be one of the meetings with the most workload of this year. The 14th session will consider the report of Provincial People's Council, the Provincial People's Committee, and judicial agencies in the province. It is expected that the meeting will also approve a draft resolution in the fields of economy, budget, justice, education, health, and some other fields. In particular, the meeting will hold the questions and answers section on the number of hot issues that are of interest to voters. The Provincial People's Council will also consider the report on the implementation of the questioning conclusion of the person who answered the questions at the 10 sessions of Provincial People's Council and River session haven't been completely resolved. The meeting time will take place in two days, expected between July 10 and 15, 2024. In the morning of June 4, the Department of Natural Resources and Environment had the conference to review the emulation movement on people chose hand to rotate the environment, say no to blood this way in the province, period 2021-2025. Speaking at the conference, Mr. Tremont Sung, Deputy Director of the Department of Natural Resources and Environment, said that after three years of implementation, the movement has achieved many important results, people's awareness of the harmful effect of blood this way and environmental rotation, responsibility are in hand. At the conference, the leaders of the department and LC also discussed some of the solutions in the coming time studies, strengthening propaganda and mobilizing to raise people's awareness of environmental rotation, maintaining and replicating effective models in the anti plastic way movement, research and transferring technology to reduce environmentally friendly materials, strengthening inspection and handling of environmental rotation violation. On this occasion, the Bronzo People Committee rewarded quality and individuals with excellent achievements. On the afternoon of June 3, the State Committee for Overseas Vietnamese held a press conference to inform about the results of 20 years of implementing Resolution 36 of the Police Bureau on Overseas Vietnamese Work. Accordingly, Resolution No. 36 has created a major turning point in the work of overseas Vietnamese built on the foundation of our party and state's social policy that overseas Vietnamese are an indispensable part, an important resource of the Vietnamese ethnic community and the spirit of rich national solidarity. Resolution has helped raise awareness and sense of responsibility in implementing work for Vietnamese people abroad from both directions, has contributed to supporting people to stabilize their life in their host country, maintain and spread the love for Vietnamese national cultural identity towards the homeland, the country, and the rise of the Vietnamese community in the country. Foreigners are getting closer and closer to domestic citizens, making it more convenient to return home to work, invest, and do business.
On June 3rd, the People's Committee of the Nai Province said it has sent a document to the National Assembly Standing Committee on the handling of landfill from the Long Tan Airport project to serve the Bing Hoa Vung Tau Expressway. Long Tan Airport has an area of 5,000 hectares. Currently, the project is constructing Phase 1 on an area of more than 2,500 hectares. The remaining land area in Phase 2 of the project has not yet been approved and is being managed by the locality. The T3 terminal planning area has a very large height difference compared to the area under construction of Long Tan Airport Phase 1 from 8 to 10 meters. The lowering of entity is necessary so as not to affect airport operations. When exploiting land here, it will be convenient in transportation and reduce costs. In addition, the T3 station planning area has been clear and no land procedures are required. Continuing the program of the service session, the 15th National Assembly, on June 4, the National Assembly began to conduct questioning and answering questions with two rows of fuel, environmental resources, and the fuel of industry and trade. Talking on the sidelines of the session, Ms. Hoan Thi Thanh Thuy, the Nimbronso National Assembly member, paid special attention to issues such as water security protection. It is necessary to take specific measures to reserve water resources, combat negativity in anti corruption, management of counterfeit goods, poor quality goods. Identifying water security is one of the issues worth paying attention to Ms. Huang Thi Thanh Thuy, members of the Provincial National Assembly, said that in the future the country will be scared and the government as well as the ministries of natural resources and environment need to pay more attention to have solution and so water security in the coming time. The first selected areas are issues that are of interest to voters. Recently, the hot issues of voter is interested and recommend to National Assembly delegation a lot related to water pollution, drought water protection, drought and salt water intrusions related to climate change affected by salt water invasions and drought like this. Voters across the country will be interested in the monitoring the solution that the minister offers in the near future. Regarding the fields of industry and trade, market management and e-commerce are areas of concern to delegates. The story we tell many times, many times, but the control of counterfeit goods or the poor quality goods related to the e-commerce market is still limited. We need to set a new control method compared to the traditional methods. Questioning and answering questions will be the focus of the first working week of National Assembly. For groups of issues of National Assembly, conduct questioning and answering questions under the responsibilities of four ministers, heads of branches including ministers of natural resources and environment, ministers of industry and trade, ministers of culture, sport and tourism, and, and state auditor general. Because the Amadeus small profit is a few hundred thousand to a few million dong, many people are ready to rent or sell their bank accounts without knowing about the risk of being fried dozens of times more, not to mention possibility of being criminally prosecuted for assisting remuners in rot and money laundering. Recently, the police in some localities boosted a network illegally buying and selling information about bank accounts with a number of thousands. Mainly, the sellers were students, low-income workers, and these accounts are used by bears to commit crimes for high-tech criminal organizations, online fraud, online gambling, and money laundering on a large-scale transitional in nature with a mass of up to trillion of them. The choice of the subjects are to post information on forums and social networking groups about renting and buying bank accounts and reaching out to low-income workers and people who lack knowledge about law or students to rent a bank account to receive money. After opening an account, the account owner must hand over internet banking login information, account registration from SIM and bank card to the subject. 
subjects will use these bank accounts to commit illegal acts, especially fraudulent appropriation of property. Someone introduced themselves as working in a bank, asked for a few minutes to tell how to register to open an account. They often take advantage of our cupidity and gullibility or difficulty. So even though it's difficult, we should ask our relatives or the others who know more knowledge about banking. We should not provide information to open an account. Students and people should not absolutely open accounts for others to sell or rent out. This is a violation of the law and can be subject to administrative sanctions of 40 to 50 million Vietnam dong, depending on the severity. Very large fines can result in criminal penalties of up to seven years in prison for buying and selling 20 or more accounts and making illegal profits of over 20 million Vietnam dong. When people and students discover someone calling to buy or rent a bank account, they should immediately report it to the nearest police department. For bank accounts that have been opened for sale, lease, or loan, you need to quickly go to the bank's transaction office to request to close the account. At the same time, you must deadly notify the police for handling the very serious consequences. The audience recently, the personal force and authority at all levels of the city have had many solutions to handle spontaneous landfills in area adjacent to the city and neighboring district. However, in this remaining littering in this area still occur regularly, affecting people's lives and urban beauty. This is also one of the difficult and difficult issues for some locality bordering district. In Wawan, there are currently three montanas Landfill located on road bordering communes in Jiaotan District, including National Highway 22B section near the intersection of 4 Benman in Quarter 3, Route 7AC area near the Welcome Gate of Tanding Commune at Trung Nui Yung Road in Quarter 5 adjacent to Taban Commune, Jiaotan District. In this area, a pair of people who lack a sense of general hygiene have taken advantage of vacuum lost to steadily dumb garbage in this stream minutely to sell the cross up garbage collection service. In the past time, the neighborhood has mobilized people in 23 cell minutes residential road to register for garbage collection. The result here is the target on delivery. Although the local government has also repeatedly organized to lean up troops, mobilize people to resist the for garbage collection service to meet the above target and regularly strengthen propaganda, patrol, and detect administrative sessions. In many cases, people in other localities violate garbage in the wrong place. But in this remaining littering in adjacent area continue to recur. Specifically, this area are long-term and difficult to handle because the location are empty area with the population. The surrounding people mainly litter at night, which is the time when the authority cannot patrol and handle them. In the coming time, in addition to increasing patrol and on duty to detect and handle cases of dumping garbage in the wrong place, the city functional center and local authority will continue to have plans and solutions to reduce and thoroughly handle bontanous landfill in bordering areas. Regarding the long-term plan, the world will socialize to install surveillance, camera and call session, coordinate with local people, propagate to sell governing rules if they detect cases of roping garbage in the wrong place, film and temperature and send them to the World People Committee for verification and treatment. Think that in order to for the adjacent area to have no garbage. In addition to the effort and determination of the personal sector, its citizens need to raise their awareness of maintaining general hygiene and dumping garbage in the right place, thereby contributing to building a civilized life. The environment and landscape are recently green, lean, and beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all for today's TTV News. Thank you and goodbye for now.